This is in Echo July 2022 20 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 4 and the question rates in the diagram below. Line AQ is a diameter of the cycle and that cycle is called APQC. APQC, just the points on the circumference of that cycle. And you can see this line AQ, it says it's a diameter. You can see it passes through the center of the cycle, center O. APB and BQC are straight lines. APB, so they are, you were told that this line is a straight line. So at this point to be, there is no bending, it's just extension of the line AP. Similarly, line BQC is another straight line. So from this Q, there is no bending. This is just an extension of line BQ. So the question actually is to calculate the angle QPC. QPC is this, this angle that we are interested in finding the size of the angle. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Solution to the problem. What you do first is to mark the angle that you are interested in or that you are asked to find the finally angle QPC. QPC, this very angle. Let me just mark it in red. So that I'll be looking at it. This is my target finally. I may not get this very angle right now. But until I find some other angles, that will enable me to find this. So I'll now attempt to find each and every angle that will lead me to find this very angle. So starting with the angle APQ, 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 this very angle, look at it. This very angle, look at it. This angle, also, this is a diameter. It is this diameter that subtained this angle at P at the circumference, which means one of the theorems is uh, angle in a semicircle is 90. So that angle is now going to be 90 degrees. And the reason is uh, it is angle in a semicircle. So I also mark the angle 90 there in my drawing. So I'll continue. So let me check another angle to find. Uh, I can find uh, this angle too. This very angle BPQ, let me just write it. Angle BPQ. Together with this, they will now form an angle on a straight line. So if this is 90, the remaining angle here is also going to be 90 degrees. And the simple reason, their angles on a straight line will adjust an angle on a straight line. So let me continue. I'm just finding angles with the hope of... Uh, leading me to find this angle QPC. So I'll continue. If I can find this also, this angle, this angle, look at it. That is angle, angle PQA, PQA, this very angle. I have these two angles inside this triangle, so I can find the third angle using some of angle in the triangle. So that angle is now going to be 80 minus 90 minus 35. I subtract 90. I subtract this 35. What remains from 180 to give me the third angle PQE. And if this subtraction is done correctly, you have 55 degrees as this very angle. Let me just continue. I don't have still enough to find the angle QPC. So let me find this angle PQB. PQB. Look at this triangle. Triangle. I have two of it is angles 90 and 25. I can find this third angle using sum of angle in a triangle. So that will now be 180 minus this 90 minus this 25. That will leave me with this angle PQB. So that will be 65 degrees if the subtraction is done correctly. I also mark it. And if I have this 65, I have this 55, I can find this very angle. Look at this angle AQC using some of angle on a straight line. So angle AQC is now going to be 180 minus this 55 minus this 65. It will leave you with this angle remaining adjacent angle on a straight line. If the subtraction is done correctly, you have that angle at 60 degrees. So next, I think if I can find this finally, finally this angle, look at it, this very angle. That is angle P 
PCQ, PCQ, this very angle. If I can find it, uh, I can now use the sum of angle in a triangle to find the angle QPC, which is I marked here using this red arc. I now have, uh, I have this angle as 35 uh, subtended by this arc PQ. Look at arc PQ, arc PQ. Is the one that subtend this angle 35 degrees at the remaining circumference. I see the same arc PQ that also subtend this angle PCQ. The two angles must be equal because a the theorem says uh, angles subtended by same arc on the same segment are equal. So this PCQ will now be 35 degrees. So there I can now concentrate on this triangle PCQ. PCQ. I wanted to find angle QPC, which is uh, which is a, an angle inside that triangle, and I have this angle 35. I have the whole of this as 55 plus 60. So I have uh, the angles. Two of the angles I can find in the third one using sum of angle in a triangle. So there I can now write my angle QPC as uh, 180 minus this 35 minus this 60, minus this 55, 55 and this 60 give one of those angles in the triangle. That is addition of those two angles. Then 35 is this second angle. Then you can find the third angle which we're interested in finding initially. So subtracting this correctly give a result 30 degrees. So therefore angle QPC is now equals to 30 degrees. This would now be the solution to this very question. So let me just share with you quickly the mark distribution for this very question as it is contained in the marking scheme of this very paper. So the very first mark is the bonus one mark. This bonus one mark, you have it when you now have uh, the angle APQ as 90 degrees, the very first angle we now obtain there. So you have that bonus one mark. The next mark is method one mark for now writing correct equation. That gives you angle PQA, that is uh, subtracting the two angles from 180 using the theorems angles in a triangle. That gives you method one mark. And if the subtraction is done correctly and you have the angle as 55 degrees, you now have this accuracy one mark. The next mark is another method one mark. For using this correct theorem, angles in a triangle, to find the angle PQB, so substituting or subtracting these two other angles from 180, this gives you method one mark. And when the subtraction is done correctly and you have the angle PQB are 65 degrees, you have this accuracy one mark. Next mark is bonus one mark, and this bonus one mark is for getting angle, angle P, PCQ as 35 degrees. That is related to this using uh, Angles subtended by same arc on same segment. This gives you method one mark. And the next mark is another method one mark. Attempting to find the angle QPC using the correct theorem, which is angle in a triangle. You have this method one mark. And when the subtraction is done correctly and you have the final, final angle, R30 degrees, that is angle QPC, you have this accuracy one mark. So in total, the question four has eight good marks.